Hello Spinner, you're on channel Pens Talk About Pen Spinning. My name is Alex Lanz and in this wonderful video I will break down a combo made by Ninetales in a short video. This request I got from Echo 704X. And the combo itself is not that hard, it is about third level of pen spinning, give or take. First part mostly consists of beginner tricks, so hey, beginners, you can also use the tutorial. I will also leave links to tutorials for use tricks in the description, so if you don't know any of them, be my guest, watch them, practice, become a pen spinning master. Just remember what happens when you skip tutorials. Anyway, let's get started, I'm so tempted. Okay, this element of course doesn't need a huge tutorial, it is not that easy to catch a pen on top of two fingers, but the trick itself is pretty self-explanatory. Come on, you just throw a pen up and land it like a boss. Just don't start learning throwing a pen way too hard, and when landed, keep gap between one and two as wide as you can, this will help you to keep balance. Here we go. The worst thing ever happened to pen spinning after Jigao mods. The trick, which name we don't pronounce. Spinners avoid it by all means necessary, it is very rare when it can be done without ruining your flow and elegancy of your spin. And worst of all, it always sticks to you, if you use it too much, it is very hard to get rid of. It begins to integrate into your style and you end up being unable to do simple things without it. Absolutely terrifying lot. Alright, let's start with this section. So he makes fingerless thumb around three verse to twisted sonic one, two to two, three, and continues. You know what? It is like a double charge full, partial double charge full. Mode continues going from one, two to two, three, four in these twisted sonics. And note that we catch pen mode in three, four with its bigger part from outer hand side. For that, all this partial double charge full, we do close it to pen mode's cap. And as soon as you get to 3 4, I recommend you not to do like him, but to do an additional little hand motion. You like turn hand following pen's movement, and this way let it move elegantly in circle motion. Practice this element for a while, it is very useful and will make your spin look fancier. And as soon as you turn hand palm side, make charge into 4. It's like beginning of Demon Sonic, but we end up doing middle round reverse. And while mod continues moving, do this middle round reverse. From that position, landing mod in 2 3 with a bigger part from inner hand side. Okay, that's the first mini combo, practice it for a while to learn tricks sequence and after that let's continue. So we stopped at this link when charge 2-4 continues with middle round triggers and catching 2-3 with the mod's bigger part from inner hand side. Because right after that we do twisted sonic 2-3 to 1-2, palm side to palm down. As you can see there is a little charge reverse and I recommend you to practice this motion for a while. Just like when you turn hand palm down, mod continues moving in charge reverse. Do everything you can to make this motion look smooth, like mod continuous circular motion after you turn hand palm down. For that keep most of its weight from outer hand side. As for me I turn hand palm down as soon as burn mods gets in 1-2 and goes for a while at this approximate angle. I turn hand palm down and by this turning kind of make pen go in circle. But it would look much smoother if you will manage to turn hand palm down before you finish Twisted Sonic. If so, if you manage to do it, let me see it in our Facebook pen stop group. Link in the description. We are very friendly for everybody, we show off our skills there, it's pretty fun. I will watch it, I will be impressed and probably will try to repeat it. So after that charge reverse in 1-2, there is a pass reverse, 1-2 to 2-3, try to keep pen mods big apart from outer hand side, and once you get to 2-3, turn hand palm side, push with 1 and move 2 away. You will stop mod in this position, I like this element of 9 tails combo. After that he makes index around reverse, from 1-3, and it looks nice. Yes. This index around triggers might take you a while because you will need to finish the trick in 2-3 with the mods big apart from inner hand side and for that you will need to move 3 under a pen mod pretty fast. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, we are almost done here, almost nailed this easy and good looking combo, just a few more steps for resilient spinners. And for learning the next part I will recommend you to take a heavy pen mod, it will make learning just a little bit easier. After we do this index around reverse from 1-3, catch pen mod in 2-3 and make it sway a bit over there, cause we need to change the direction of its movement to opposite and make middle around. For that push pen mod with 3 strong enough to let it turn over middle and catch in 2-3 with a bigger part from outer hand side. For that, when most of weight is down, you can let mod slide on 2 while it's moving over the finger and catch it in 2-3. Or without sliding, just make sure to catch pen mod with most of weight out. And as soon as you catch mod in 2-3, make charge reverse palm side to palm down again to change direction of pen's movement and do twisted sonic 2-3 to 1-2 palm down. The link is useful, looks nice, but learning might take you a while. As you can see, Ninetales uses this concept of changing direction of pen's movement by turning hand palm and down pretty frequently. And that's actually a pretty common concept in general. If you want to learn more about it, check my tutorial for Twisted Sonic Link. So we do Twisted Sonic 2-3 to 1-2 palm down and catch pen mode in T1, holding mode by a grip. Because now we need to make a basic wiper trick, which is called Infinity. Do Infinity and finish it like this, in a starting position for Swivel. And yes, you guessed it, now we do Swivel to Thumb Flap. You can see that he makes a Swivel kinda stopping the pen and making it turn in opposite direction. That's for being able to make following fingerless thumb around triggers. And you see what I mean? The curse of Thumb Flap Charge is unleashed. The spinner is already doomed. Let's take a moment of silence for his skill. Spinners learn from his mistakes, save yourself from oblivion. Do fingerless thumb around reverse immediately, without this disgusting stop for disgusting trick. Yes, learning is not going to be easy, it may take you a lot of time to get, but believe me, it's much better than being captured in thumb flap charge trap. You need to catch your mod with a bigger part out, so I found it easier for me to throw it in the air while moving it round hand. It seems harder, but in fact helped me a lot to nail the link. Land mod in 1-2 or partial back fall. We only connect index and middle backs. And as you can see, the video cuts there. There is no finisher. I suppose that he wanted to go further but failed at some point. But you can finish the combo by landing pen mod in 1-2 with fingers stretched. And if you kinda continue hands movement, you will finish like a fall. Middle back is not a very common finisher if you don't let people know that it is a finisher. Or if you can do Neo Sa, do it. Now this trick is a good finisher. 